The next step is making the offer. And I'm going to tell you how a realtor helps a buyer do that in just a second. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back. Audrey Wise with Journey Realty Group here in Arden, North Carolina. And this is video three in the mini series, What Does a Realtor Do for a Buyer? Today we're gonna to talk about how your realtor will help you formulate an offer. So you found a home that you like and you wanna move forward with making an offer on this property. When you present an offer, the seller is gonna look at several things. The amount of your purchase price offer. They're gonna look at how long you want your due diligence process to be. They're going to look at when your closing date is, and they're also going to look at what type of offer you're making. Is it cash or are you getting a loan to pay for the property? Your agent's going to try to find out what is most important to that seller. Is it purchase price or do they need a quick close? And then together you and your agent will come up with some terms to present to the seller. You need to ask yourself whether or not you want to negotiate. Most people do want to negotiate. But there are some buyers that don't want to hassle with that and they come in and they just say, I want this house and I'm going to pay what they're asking and let's just get it over with. However, most people do want to negotiate. So, and that's for me the fun part. I know that the seller is asking a certain price, but in my mind I'm thinking, hmm, what can we really get that house for? So know going in whether or not you are going to be willing to negotiate. You need to decide what is that house worth to you? Is it worth what they're asking? Would you actually pay that amount? If so, that doesn't mean that that's what you offer. For your initial offer, you and your agent are going to talk about where you'd like to be eventually, and then your agent's gonna help you figure out where to start. So we discuss that and we come up with what is our initial offer gonna be as far as purchase price, and then we talk about how much earnest money they wanna put down. Typically, earnest money is between one and 3% of the purchase price. Also, it's negotiable. So again, we always want to start on the lower side and let the seller ask for more if that's what they want. Then I'm going to discuss with my buyer, how long do you need for due diligence? If it's a cash offer, you only need a couple of weeks probably. If it's a conventional loan, you're going to need at least 30 to 45 days. If the house needs a lot of inspections, you may need longer than that. So we're going to look at that as far as what the buyer needs but I also inform my buyer that that may be a problem for the seller. So it's a negotiable term. The closing date is also going to be based on how you're paying for the property. Again, if it's a cash offer, you can close a lot more quickly than if you're going to finance the property. After we've come up with all those terms, then I will ask the buyer, okay, is there anything else that you want? Do you want the seller to pay part of your closing costs? Would you like to ask for a home warranty? Is there any furniture or any equipment? That you might also like to have. When my buyer is comfortable with the terms of the offer, and those terms consist of the purchase price, the earnest money, the due diligence fee, length of due diligence, and the closing date, and then if there's anything else in there that they like to ask for, once they're comfortable with all that, then I'll write it all up and I will present that to the listing agent. Now the seller is going to do one of three things. The seller is either going to accept the offer, reject the offer, or counter the offer. And we're hoping that we will present an offer worth countering, or at least beginning a negotiation with. If the offer is accepted, we move forward and we begin the due diligence process. If the offer is rejected, then we need to kind of back up a little bit and think, okay, what can we do to make this offer better? What is that seller really looking for? And then we will either write up another offer or we will move on to another home. Now, if the seller counters the offer, that means we can move forward until we reach an agreement. Once that agreement's reached, then we can start the due diligence process. That sums it up for how a realtor can help a buyer when it comes to making an offer. If you want more information on the buying process, check out one of these other videos. If this video was helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing so you don't miss weekly real estate information. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.